It's a very special town, uh, obviously. It is based around golf and, and the university. And uh, I love my golf. I love playing uh, uh, of here. Every year I find out of, of what the date is for next year, put it in the diary. Nothing gets put in that week. And then, fingers crossed, the invitation comes through that you get invited. It's special because it is the home of golf. It is the first golf course of anywhere. And then when you're teeing up here, just by the side of us uh, on the first, is that uh, it doesn't matter what uh, level of golf you are, good, bad or indifference, that you, you're going to get a bit of nerves. And even though you're looking down at the, the widest fairway of golf, uh, you're still praying that it's going to be on there somewhere. This is my 15th year, so I can now say that I've, I've played in 15, of getting one day under my belt of, uh, of this one. It's just an, a magic event of, of uh, the Alfred Dunhill. Uh, is probably the highlight of the year, and certainly the golfing highlight of the year, to be able to rub shoulders with the, the European greats and, and some, some of the American players as well, of walking the fairways. What other sport can you do that? It's just a great honour to be able to tread the, uh, the turf at the same time as they're playing for one of the biggest European prizes in golf. And uh, to be able to play in a pro-am is pretty special, but to play in the actual competition is, is a privilege. But uh, playing with uh, Ross Fisher, um, and that was pretty special. Uh, he started off uh, very hot, and, and uh, we sort of stumbled a little bit uh, sort of uh, around the turn. But uh, no, very enjoyable, very enjoyable round. I'm looking forward to Carnoustie tomorrow.